Are you into hot chicks? Are you into beefy chicks? Are you into the big ladies? Are you into dudes? Are you into wolf dudes? This is uh, Okish Shitoki. The word S H I T is in the title. This is some sort of RPG thing. I've popped this into the system and tried it out. And uh, the manual's a little bit thick, but not as thick as some of these games that I'm doing. I'm recording two intros right now, and I'm just going to leave it that and record two later because um, I got two other games that are lined up. But uh, not too excited about it. Got two boring games lined up. Stuff I'm not really excited about. Back burner type stuff, but I'm kind of forcing myself to do that. What's up with this game? Uh, it's just some sort of RPG kind of reminds me of some sort of uh, Climax Landers or uh, what is it, Treasure Strike or something like that. There's uh, games that you can kind of uh, lump into this category. Uh, what else is going on? Just been staying busy. Just, uh, you know, getting stuff done. There is a quote. Um, people who stay busy, even with just menial, trivial stuff, tend to be happier than people who don't stay busy. So I've been trying to live by that just a little bit. Uh Taking stuff to Goodwill, uh, just, uh, you know, organizing, trying to get down to a hyper-organized uh, state of uh, minimalism, just to, you know, trying to get my uh, atoms lined up, I guess. But, um, yeah, you know, cute little anime chicks, but I've seen cuter. I think the last review that we're going to do, that I'm going to do before this one, is uh, has the cuter ladies, but uh, that's just my professional opinion. Your opinion may vary. Battery's not included. And, uh, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. And, uh, still haven't seen Dick Tracy yet. I kinda wanna do that, make myself do that. Been playing Wolfenstein. Been doing that. Been collecting Bendy figures. I had to go online and order the Boris one because I couldn't find that. Boris playing the clarinet. The game's not that great, but I like the characters. It's like a uh, knockoff Mickey Mouse, but uh, harkens back to Van Buren, kind of, for, you know, forgotten cartoon stuff. Shout out to Flip the Frog, everybody. So enough about my old man gibberish. We're going to get into whatever the heck this game is called and uh, have a good time while we're at it. And uh, good times. Thanks for watching, by the way. P.S. I love you. How you doing? Looking like some Mahjong or something. This intro makes me think of 7th Cross Evolution, but what game doesn't? That little uh, sphere thing is a planet area. Some of that beef, that's that beef chick. Looking real beefy. Extra thick with two C's. Yeah, I feel like I'm sitting in a planetarium and uh, just getting my mind blown. Well, that's the little demo movie. That's all you get. It just loops from this point because this is my second time recording this. Looking at that chick's thighs right there. With their red shorts, let's hit the start button. Okay, we're just reliving things at this point. Yeah, it's just like Seventh Cross Evolution. You got like different colored orbs and stuff just moving around like a hypnotized, like they do on the news. You know, trying to make you uh, enter beta state of mind or whatever, so you're more susceptible to. Uh, Whatever they gotta force down your uh, throat. Was oh, that like a. No, okay, that's just a regular island. I thought maybe it was a flying island like uh, Skies of Arcadia. We we'll always talk about the uh, same types of games. Yeah, I've been playing Wolfenstein, um, playing, you know, Bendy and the Ink Machine, finish that game, collecting those minifigs, and uh, what else? Trying to get into other games, but um, I ordered the Old Blood to um, kind of 
get into Wolfenstein more. It's kind of a what happens before the new order. So I'm real excited to play it because it's supposed to be kind of um, a retelling of what happens in uh, one of the original Wolfenstein. So I think it's probably the one I grew up playing. So. The MS DOS version. Sigourney Weaver, I thought they were going to say. Um, Sigourney Weaver and Winona Ryder were in Alien 3. And uh, I saw that kind of recent. And uh, I thought Winona Ryder was cute in that one. I can understand the appeal. I've lived most of my life being like, what's up with this chick? Because I think she was in Edward Scissorhands. And I was like, whatever. I guess I just have a mental picture of her as the old lady at the end of Edward Scissorhands. Even though she was young in that movie too. It, whatever. Yeah, I've been uh, collecting some old stuff and keeping some of the old stuff in packaging. I got one of those trash bag packs or something. And I think I got that coming in from Europe. So, can't wait for that. Do you guys collect stuff and keep it in packaging? I'd like to know. I really don't know what's up with all the you know, ribbons and the bows and stuff. It's like they just took some uh, flyers and confetti and whatever just from some old kid's birthday party at a roller rink and just uh, wrapped themselves in it like a mummy. It doesn't make any sense. It, wouldn't you just get caught in it? A lot of female stuff is just frivolous, and I think it's frivolous on purpose because it's just uh, virtue signaling or just showing that, uh, you know, I don't have to fight. I don't have to stress about life. I can just wear this long flowing gown and there's nothing you can do about it, basically, and it's true. You can't do much about it. Just uh, creatures that do nothing, uh, you, you know. Uh, you're just going to stress yourself worrying about it. Just uh, focus on yourself. So we got, uh, you, you can move your cursor around. I'm using the D-pad. You can also use the analog stick. The triggers move the camera just in a um, uh, four different views there. Um, is this a simulation game? Um, I don't know. I thought I tried to test this game out, and it seems this is not what I thought it was. Um, might have been playing a different game. I don't know, but um, seems like this game is a little bit slow going. Okay, I hit the Y button and I'm getting some sort of grid. I guess you're able to enter this building if you're lucky enough. Um, I'm getting kind of exasperated. Uh, um, do you just talk to this character? Is there any way you can interact with people? I'm um, button mashing. Looks like he's thinking about a boot or a sock. A very elaborate Christmas sock, perhaps? There was a Mr. Bean episode where um, Mr. Bean was talking about Christmas socks, and uh, it's kind of a nostalgic thing for a lot of people. People like Mr. Bean, but um, I don't know. Apparently, Mr. Bean was not on the air long because uh, there was one skit where he just seemed kind of just happy about life and uh, most of the programming on TV is focused on bending over backwards for uh, societal expectations. Mr. Bean as a character was content with being a single man and uh, that didn't really fit in the um, narrative that didn't, you know, just someone who is so entertained with his own little amusements that, uh, you know, he's not really doing what society wants. And I think uh, maybe that's why the controllers took that off. But uh, I'm just going by somebody, what somebody said on a YouTube comment. And, uh, you know, they, there might be just different reasons for that. But um, Mr. Bean, everybody. Didn't he have a dog or something? Did Mr. Bean have a dog? I want to say he had a dog. Um... You know, Ernest had a dog. You know, Ernest P. Whirl had a dog. Um, a lot of cool characters have dogs, little sidekicks. Um, I have a beagle. You know, you can have all of the problems in the world, but uh, I have a beagle. Um, I don't know what's going on. Is this like kaiju, where you have gigantic humanoids, and they just like to... 
defecate in uh, ancient ruins. Is, is that how this is working? My character, which I think is this chick, this little chickadee here, she's just not moving. Um, wasn't there like an SNES game or something like uh, Destroy All Monsters, or was that like a Genesis game? Because um, that is what this game is reminding me of, uh, like an Ultraman game on the um, Nintendo SNES and stuff like that. Genesis, a lot of the same games were on the same systems. I'm just talking. Uno is the monopoly of card games. I honestly can't tell you what I'm doing, and I'm trying. I'm hitting buttons. Um, seems like the uh, trigger is doing something with this grid pattern. Um, language barrier heavy. This is not fun. Um, I want to rate this a little higher than a 2 because it seems a little bit more intricate. I can do a couple things um, if I knew what I was doing. Language barrier kills it. It's interesting. Um, I gave one graphic novel a 2 point one because there was uh, some nudity or whatever um, how about this two point zero five <laughs> that's good enough right all right um, this guy's thinking about a boot oh you can kind of zoom in what, what am I doing can't say I recommend. I, I really don't know what I'm doing. Like, there's stuff happening. I'm not sure if it's me. And that's a bad sign, too. It, it, like, I get feelings like this when I'm playing sports games, particularly baseball games. I'm not even moving my character. It's, uh, this little girl's been just standing there. Um, I'm sure her knees are, uh, you know, you've got to bend your knees a little bit. Uh, it's not good to lock your knees in the place. I feel like that's all she's been doing. She's, she didn't listen to her gym teacher. Uh, there's cloud. The clouds are cool, I guess. There's like a purple fog that's going to just consume everything. Yeah, can't recommend. This This sucks. Sucks. Uh, I literally can't do anything. 2.05. This is not, not a good game. Um, you're better off just doing laundry. That guy's... The, see, that's what the sock icon means. Just uh, do... Do laundry. I, I think they're destroying buildings, or I, I, I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, this I'm sorry. Um, have a blessed day, everyone. <laughs>